Hi everyone and welcome to another Langmuir Systems Fusion 360 tutorial video. In the last video, we used the 2D profile tool to generate a toolpath for our part, then simulated it to preview what the crossfire will do when we bring our program to the machine. In this video, we'll cover post-processing. Post-processing is a process by which we convert our designed and manufactured part in Fusion 360 into a G-code the crossfire can read. Think of the post-processor like a translator that needs to know the language of a specified CNC motion control program and application. The Crossfire uses Mach 3 for motion control. Since we're plasma cutting, we'll need a Mach 3 plasma post-processor specifically. The Crossfire Pro uses fire control. We'll cover fire control another time. To start, navigate to the Langmuir Systems download page, then click the link that says Crossfire Mach 3 Fusion 360 Post. Keep in mind that this is a post-processor specific to Fusion 360 and Mach 3 specifically for Plasma. It won't work for any other CAM or motion control software. Our file has been downloaded. In Fusion 360, open the post-process menu. Its icon is a G1 over a G2 in a rectangle. In the post-process menu, click the Setup button, then select the Use Personal Post Library option. This section that I'm highlighting indicates the folder on my computer that I need to navigate to and move the post processor we downloaded into. To make it easy, we'll copy this file browser address. To do so, highlight it and right click, then select the copy option. You can also choose to highlight it and press Ctrl C on your keyboard instead. A quick note, Axel is the username of my computer. Your browser address will not say Axel. Instead, it will display the username of your computer. Now open a file browser window. Like an internet browser, this field at the top is the address bar. Click in this field and paste the folder address we copied a few moments ago. To do so, either right click and select the paste option or press Ctrl V on your keyboard. Once it has been pasted, press the enter key on your keyboard. Now that we have the personal post library folder open, we can move the post processor file into it. Navigate to the downloads folder on your computer and identify the file named mach3plasma.cps. Drag and drop mach3plasma.cps from the downloads folder to the personal post library folder. Close the post processing menu by clicking the cancel button, then open the post processing menu again. Click the setup button again, then select use personal post library again. The Mach 3 Plasma Post Processor that we downloaded and moved into the Personal Post Library folder should be selected automatically. Next, we'll set an output folder. This is the folder our G-codes will be generated into, so make sure it's a folder you'll easily remember. I'll select the desktop. This field allows you to name your G-code, and this one allows you to add an optional comment. I personally enter intended plasma cutter information here. Unless you want your G-code to open in a text editor after it has been generated, uncheck the Open NC in Editor option. This field with the green text and values allows us to edit exactly what the post processor is doing to generate the G-code. For now, we'll just change the pierce delay from one second to a half second. Once we've done that, we'll click Post. A file save menu will appear since we're creating a new G-code file. Go ahead and click Save. I'll navigate to my output folder, the desktop, and my G-code is here. If done correctly, the file extension should be .tap. Our G-code is now ready to be brought to the crossfire and cut. This concludes the Langmuir Systems Fusion 360 video tutorial series. The next section will cover using Mach 3 to control the crossfire and cut parts. Thank you for watching.